On April 9, 1918, Enibol Augusto Milhais and his comrades with the 2nd Infantry Division of the Portuguese Expeditionary Corps were embroiled in the intense Battle of the Lys. The bombs and artillery were unrelenting as Milhais lay in the 2nd Trench of the Allied Line. He was shocked by what happened next, and the events that followed changed his life forever, proving just how fearless he was in making him Portugal's greatest war hero. Enibo Augusto Milhais, born on July 9, 1885 in northern Portugal, was drafted into the infantry of Braganca in the summer of 1915 and deployed to France with the Tras Os Montes Brigade, part of the 2nd Infantry Division of the Portuguese Expeditionary Corps. Portugal's role in World War I was different from other Allied forces, as the country had initially remained neutral but eventually declared war on Germany due to U-boat activity in the Atlantic Ocean and Portugal's wish to comply with British requests for aid. Portuguese soldiers fought alongside the British in Flanders and northern France, and were also sent to East Africa to protect Portuguese colonies. The Battle of the Lys, the 2nd Infantry Division was worn down by constant German bombardments and raids contributing to casualties and extreme fatigue. The battle began on April 7, 1918, but everything came to a head in the early hours of April 9. Any bull Augusto Milhais settled in a dugout in the second trench along the Allied front, and he stayed low as the bombs and shells continued to pummel the area around him. Eventually, the heavy shelling subsided to nothing more than the sound of thunder in the distance, but Milhais knew there wasn't a storm rolling in. He looked out from behind the trench, trying to see past the thick fog that settled over no man's land. All of the sudden, more explosions rained down just feet from the first trench. Milhais watched as his fellow soldiers dove into the front trench, wondering how so many men were retreating from behind enemy lines. Shots were fired inside the trench, and soon Milhais and the others in the second realized the approaching men weren't Portuguese. They were Germans. As more enemy troops crossed no man's land, Milhais aimed his Lewis gun at the men in the second trench, who began to retreat to a supply one. Meanwhile, a group led by the infamous stormtroopers took the first trench and started toward the second through a network of smaller communication trenches. As gunfire rang out, any bull Augusto Milhais ran through the trench system and leaped across a large hole to get to a road on the other side. Ducking behind a dirt wall, he found several soldiers hiding from the Germans, many of them without guns to defend themselves. Enemy troops, armed with guns and bayonets, approached the group, and Milhais told the others to run to safety while he covered their retreat. His Lewis gun was superior to the German rifles and quickly decimated the approaching men, single-handedly stopping the German advance for a time. As the Allies retreated, Milhais moved from side to side, firing from different positions and keeping the enemy soldiers stuck in the various holes and craters in which they were hiding. His movements made it appear to the Germans as though multiple gunmen were firing at them. The Portuguese soldier worked as quickly and efficiently as three gunners while fending off an entire force all on his own. Any Bo Augusto Milhais, alone behind enemy lines, ran out of ammunition and searched for an escape. He found a piece of canvas and covered himself with it as the enemy passed by. After hiding for hours, he emerged and dashed across the open field, eventually finding a Scottish major stuck in a swamp. Milhais rescued him, and the two made it back to their units three days after the battle began. Throughout the remainder of the First World War, Enibo Augusto Milhais continued to fight with honor and distinction, at one point laying down suppressive fire to allow a Belgian unit to make it to a secondary trench without any casualties. For his actions, he was awarded Portugal's highest military distinction, the Order of the Tower and of the Sword, of Valor, Loyalty and Merit, as well as the French Legion d'Honneur, presented to him on the battlefield in front of 15,000 Allied soldiers. He was even affectionately known as the soldier, worth a million men, Milhais returned to his home village a hero, married and had nine children. The family eventually fell on hard times, and when he asked the government for support, he wasn't given monetary aid. 
Instead, his village was renamed for him. After traveling to Brazil in search of a better life and receiving support from those living there, he returned to Portugal, where he remained until his death in 1970.